Hello everyone, I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on survival torches or you know torches to use in a survival situation Mike did a video weapon collector on a um, light rechargeable shake torch he's got which is quite good so I thought I'd show you my one because this is actually quite a robust rechargeable torch um, so I'll go on the two torches I've had and would trust um, now these are both LEDs this one that looks quite battered and beat up um, I've had for years, probably over 10 years, and it still works if you change the batteries when it runs out. So it's a really good torch. Obviously it is battery powered. Um, it's a diver's torch. As you can see the handles come off a long time ago, it was rubber. And there's no ring seal there if you want to do it. Um, you know, like use it underwater, which I've never bothered with. I have tried it in a sink and it works, you know, submerged. But I think it can go to quite a depth. Uh, the seals will hold out on it. So this, when this came out, like 10 maybe plus years ago, I bought it. This was when you know LEDs were only first becoming a thing in like practical household goods, not you know halogen bulbs, whatever else. So it surprised me just how bright this was. And I'll, in a minute, I'll try and get a room dark and show you these torches. So if you can find these, I'm on General Amazon as divers torches. They should only cost five to ten pounds. These are really good, just double A torches, whatever they take. It's either double or triple A. And they only take about two batteries, two to four batteries, and they're really bright. I think you can get them in a variety of sizes. And they're probably better than when I got this one now because LEDs have improved a lot. But for the time when this came out, it's really bright and you know really strong. And as it's a diver's torch, it's robust. You know you could knock this about, you won't break it. Nice fluorescent um, green, sort of yellow handle, so it's easy to see. I use this as the torch by my bed at night if I need to use a torch because it's easy to find and you can't really break it then we've got this it's a Unicom power beam um, I think this is on sale in somewhere like Robert Dias I bought it this is stupidly bright and it's a really good rechargeable torch um, so this is a really good survival one um, how robust it is I don't know because I've had it a couple of years I haven't managed to break it I think I have dropped it before or knocked it against stuff so to charge it you either have the winding handle in on the side I'll show you in a moment or you can charge it via USB. So there you have, I think that's even micro or mini USB it's called. It's the same one I think the PS3 controllers use to charge. And then you've got your standard USB. So you can use you know, a, a plug to USB or USB to USB to charge that. Plug that into one of those plug adapters and then charge it from that. If you have one that goes into a, like a car voltage um, you know, cigarette lighter, you can charge them on there. So that makes it really practical to charge. You can charge it anywhere and you can get it fully charged via cable rather than having to shake it and when you go out you can maintain the charge by using the charge handle which is on the side here so that literally pushes out there then you twist that and this um this bit spins round so you can charge it easier so i'll just put the camera down and show you charging it so yeah to charge it you literally just turn that round clockwise or anti-clockwise i don't think it matters and the good thing about this is if the battery completely runs down you can literally keep the torch going uh, by turning it on and spinning this and it will gill um, turning it gives you enough sort of charge in real time to actually keep the torch running I'll try and do that at a bit of a funny angle which is why it's a bit harder to charge I'll try and do it from the side but yeah it's not a bad handle at all and um, yeah, if you completely run the torch down, you can walk around doing this and you'll get enough power to actually keep the torch beam going at a fairly decent brightness. Um, like most rechargeable torches, this does run its charge down as um, it's sitting around doing nothing, but it does hold it for surprisingly a long time. If you fully charge it, it will last a couple of months before it's flat. Um, so if you knew you were going out in the field and needed it, you could literally charge it the night before or whatever fully and then you wouldn't have a problem. I've never run it continuously so I don't know how long the battery will actually last if you know you just turn it on and leave it but I have left it on overnight sometimes by accident when I've you know gone to bed, turned, left the torch on, gone to sleep, had it facing the floor like that so I can't see the beam woke up in the morning and there's still got charge left in it so you've got six to eight hours charge on that at least I'd imagine and when it gets low it does get dim before it finally goes off which is good so you do know when it needs charging rather than just having to guess by the time you've used it so uh, let's uh, try these in a room I'll pull the curtains and see how bright they are 
Right, as you can see I've made the room quite dark. It's not pitch black because otherwise the camera might have trouble uh, picking stuff up. So I'll just put the camera down a second so I can I put the camera here. You'll be able to see the far wall and I'll use the diver's torch first. There you go, so that's what it looks like on the wall. Um, I might need some new batteries because it seems like they're going a bit, but see that's pretty bright. If it's off, it's like that. On, it's like that. Um, if you're shining it directly into the camera, you can see it's a really bright torch. Um, it's bright enough that if you're in a room and you point it at the ceiling, although it's probably not very evident on the camera, you get enough light, especially if it's a white painted room, to um, you know, see what you're doing, so you can just prop it up somewhere pointing at the ceiling or a wall and the reflection of the light off of a white surface will um, essentially act like um, a low power sort of light bulb in the ceiling. So there's that one. Now here's the really powerful um, big lantern torch. Hopefully you can see that's a lot brighter already. Um, if I shine that into the camera, that pretty much wipes it out. Um, so yeah there's that this has two functions on it you can press this one to toggle it on and off like I'm doing and then there's this red one you hold down to literally just turn the torch on as you want it if you wanted to do signaling it would make that easier to do and obviously if you wanted to just use it and in case you forget to toggle it off you can do it that way as well now if I flick it on I think sometimes when you wind it it does get brighter the beam as you wind it so yeah it does I don't know how evident that will be on camera, but when you're winding it, it's brighter. And that's what I mean when, if your um, torch has completely run out, you will get some light by just doing this as you walk along, even if you don't want to fully charge it. Or, you know, give it enough turns to run on its own battery for a bit. So, um, that brightness is what it will look like completely fully charged. Um, this is a bit dimmer, and when it gets lower, the battery will get dimmer still. But overall, they're very good survival torches.